good world. This is DJ D, the premier party rocker, Youngs in Charge, whatever you want to call me, Black Bottle Boys, we here. One time for PattersDope.com. Welcome to the spin out. Let's get it. It's Pat is Dope, and I'm here with... DJ D. Izzy, man, the premier party rocker. was good, world? So when they just boxed up all the Bel Air Rose and shit and just sent it to you like, you that nigga in D.A., repping Atlanta, how they find you? Well, well, first, first of all, I'm not from Atlanta. Oh, you're not so from Atlanta. Know, I'm, my daughter lives in Atlanta. Shout okay. out to Killer Cam. What's up, baby girl? Mm -hmm. I'm actually from Savannah, Georgia. Okay. 912 Seaport, what's up? Mm -hmm. But actually, as far as the Bel Air situation, one time big homie Lance Henderson had to put that together. I was at the Greenhouse in VA, you know what I'm saying? Ain't my VA yard, you know how that was the number one Bel Air sales mm -hmm. in the whole state. Mm -hmm. And basically, you know, that was that was the first little look that they got, like, all right, if, if you at the number one spot, how are they selling? And and the people, you know what I'm saying, management and stuff, they, they kinda plugged me in and they actually seen that I was already rocking with the brand. Mm -hmm. You know, so and all you could do is help. Yeah. You know, and then, you know, Rick Ross liked a couple pics and stuff. And then Black Bottle Boys. Awesome. Man, you got Young Money Young, you got Regular Real, you got all these other people out here. you like, they know me, they know me. How, how long you been out here doing it? I've um, actually been out here since January of 2012, transferred to Norfolk State. Okay. I still actually attend. I graduated this May. Mm -hmm. So, yeah, like artists like that, um, Young Crazy, another artist yeah. that's really working, you know. So, all of them, man, they, I just show love. Like, I'm from the South. Like, no offense to to this area up here, but where I'm from, that's what we do. You know what I'm saying? Southern hospitality, you working, I'm working, let's work together. Let's eat, we all can eat. Like I asked everybody, what's in your iPod? But I'm not gonna ask you that. What's in your motherfucking shoe collection? Cause I'm in a truck, you know, riding up here and I see shoes on shoes on shoes. Like, you know, let's talk about the shoe collection. I mean, I've been kind of, I've been kind of scaling down. I I've been, I've been getting a lot of stuff. Like I said, I got the um, Space Jam 11s on. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna just tell them, but I, I got a lot. Of, I got a lot of flavors. I mean, the, the young, the young kids is kind of like downplaying the Jordans, man, for me. So I, so I've been trying to get on my ASIC game. Mm -hmm. You know, I got a couple of Coney's, New Balance is cool. You know, shout out to DMV. You know, y'all really put me on that. Everything outside of the five seven four. What's up? You know, so. Any, any, anything, any dopeness. I definitely um just cop those uh the um the all red Adidas joints, the Big Sean's. Mm -hmm. I, 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 I kind of finesse now. Let me tell you a little, man. Yeah, yeah, but yeah, yeah. Any, anything dope and exclusive that that your homeboy won't have on. What do you do? Who are you? Like besides the DJ, like who, who, who are you? Father first. Crazy, crazy hustler. Cause I mean, although I do DJ and this is what I do, I hustle. I got to see. You know what I'm saying? I got a family to feed. Just sent my mama to the eighth. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? She getting it in. Still a student. Graduated in May, like I said, mass communication, music media major. Mm -hmm. Um, I do mad if you don't know me, I do mad community service. Like where I do community service every day. I'm a coach. Mm -hmm. Coach basketball team, Chesterfield Academy out here in Norfolk, mm -hmm. VA Elementary School. I also have an after school program, after school scholars at Broad Creek Community Center. Mm -hmm. So I'm I'm really out here, you know, because I I, I've been I've been to the lowest point, you know what I'm saying? It's been nights where I didn't I didn't know how we how was gonna make it the next day. Well, you know, so what's right. the difference between Savannah, Georgia and Norfolk, Virginia, seven five seven area? Really it's, it's a lot of similarities. I mean we're we're by the water. I mean you can say y'all by the water, you know, we're we're like by the water, like seaport, we're Fort City. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? That's that's where the name comes from. Um, as far as like street mentalities of, of people from Norfolk that I've ran into, it's similar from Savannah. Um, you know, people love to say the crab in the bucket uh, metaphor. Um, it's, it's, it's similar in the, in the city. You know, the uh, biggest thing about Savannah is it, it makes you, bro. Like, it really makes you. Like, the things you go through growing up, it makes you. But you just got to be able to take that and get you to where you want to get. And, and a lot of people know who are actually from there, like, you got to get out. Like, don't don't ever forget it. You got to get out. Like, you got people like Big Boy from Outcast. He's from, mm -hmm. he from Savannah. Mm -hmm. Like, a lot of people don't know that. But he had to get out. Mm -hmm. He went to the A link that with Big Boy. I mean, not Big Boy, but Andre P. Thatcher. Most definitely. Crazy. How do you turn up the crowd? Like, what's that one song that you, the most underrated song and a song you just go back to? It could be from a few years ago. Like, yo, let me turn these motherfuckers up. Ooh. Um... Probably yesterday, I um I just did a hundred days event for Hampton University. Shout out HU or Court. I said, 
I drop, oh, let's do it. Had to take them back, walk and fluffy. Mm -hmm. Just, just wants, to, just wants to take them back. I love, I call it the old shit factor. Like where you might be in a club, you lit, you lit. and, and oh, then I drop. Shit. Exactly. That drink came on and you exactly. just go crazy. Exactly. Like I love that. You know what I'm saying? I love challenging myself because realistically, as a DJ, in my opinion, you we know what the hottest song is. Anybody can go there and play the hottest song. Oh, hold on, let me stop this. So I'm always in the club sometimes. Like yo. Why y'all don't play, you know, this song, this song, you know, some underground music, this, thing. I'm like, yo, I can turn these motherfuckers up. Everybody thinks they can be a DJ. But well, what's the secret? You got, first, you got to have a love for music. You can't, you have to have a passion for this. Like, it can't be about the money. The money's going to come, man. Mm -hmm. Like, you can't wake up and be like, oh, I want to be on, on my DJ drama shit with the mixtapes. I want to be a, a music mogul DJ like DJ Khaled. You know what I'm saying? Like, it, it, it can't, oh, I want to be a legendary party DJ like DJ Kid Capri. Mm -hmm. You you don't wake up like that. You know what I'm saying? There's levels, like what Don Lee said. So, yeah, man, it, it's, it's, it's no really secret. You just got to actually be genuine mm -hmm. and, and find out what type of DJ you are. Because for me, I'm the DJ that's going to break the record. I'm not scared to play new music. What you broke? What you broke? Did you, what you broke? I came in here, we listened to The Blessed. You know what I'm saying? You, you, what you break lately? And they went crazy over. And what did you break lately that you kind of had like, oh, um, what is this factor out there? Like people didn't really like gravitate towards it, but to you it's a hit. Um, crazy lately. Uh, I feel like in this area, and I mean, I'm I'm not being I'm not really like being on no cocky, but uh, a lot of a lot of DJs really be scared. They want to wait till it's on your blog site or. You know what I'm saying? It's, it's, it's everywhere. Like, Coco. Like, I remember when I first heard that. Like, you can, um, if y'all follow me on Instagram and Twitter, you can see I do tracks of the day. Is it tracks of the day? Mm -hmm. Like, you got tracks like that, Preach. You know, people don't even know Preach was on two adults mixed it. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? So, I kind of, I break my records through that. Social media, of course, my mixtapes. Mm -hmm. Uh, I got a mixtape series, Dead Presence Radio. Mm -hmm. I'm on my um my tenth actually my tenth mixtape okay. of that series. And then of course the club. I reinforce it. Like so it's like here, here, and here. Okay. Let them know where they can find you, man. Social media and everything. Social media, like I said, Instagram, Twitter is DJD underscore I Z Z Y. My app and my website is under construction. Mm -hmm. And the reason why it's under construction is because anybody can put it together, but okay. I'm trying to put greatness. Why, why some DJs whack and corny and, you know, they just use their little situation to get girls up there? Well, what, is, what do you take to be, you know, genuine? Like, you know, I'm a star DJ. Gen, uh, the genuine DJ, in my opinion, would be the DJ who takes risks for, for, the, for the, the, the better of the event. Mm -hmm. I'm willing to to play this song even though I might not personally like it because it's it's bad music that I don't personally like. Mm -hmm. But if if the crowd gonna turn up, we gonna have fun, then we there. Like when I when I'm DJing, I want I want people to feel like, yo, I can't go out unless DJ Dizzy's on this fly. But ho ho ho, what makes a bad DJ? Cause I've been in a party and then and everybody like, yo, the DJ sucked. I'm like, well he was playing music. That was cool. What makes a bad DJ? You you're not you're you're DJing for yourself. You're not DJing for the, for the audience, and you you have to make it your show. When I'm DJing, it's my show. I don't care who the promoter is. I'm gonna show you love, but if I'm on the fly and I'm on the ones and twos, it's my party. Most stuff, man. Own that shit, man. I'm here with DJ Izzy. Where we at right now? Norfolk we in 757. Norfolk, we in Norfolk 757. This is this is kind of my second home right now. I'm here at school. Turning up. Um, it's actually Battle of the Bay weekend. Mm -hmm. You know, if you say... We about to turn up tonight, man. We about to turn up tonight. We gonna, It's all him. It's all him, man. It's Patty's Dope. We in 757. DJ Izzy, man. Make sure you go follow him. Check out his tracks of the day. So it's every day, right? Every day. You don't ever forget a day? Um, I know you forgot yeah, a day. Yeah, you know, you know I forgot a day. But when I usually when I forget a day, I double up and triple up. You know what I'm that. saying? You heard it first, man. It's Patty's Dope. We out. Yeah, man. One time... Pat is dope, but he forgot. Put the D in my name. It's DJ D. Izzy, the premier party rocker, Black Bottle Boys, um, 106 and Park DJ. Rest in peace with 106 and Park, first of all. Follow me on Instagram and Twitter at DJ D underscore I Z Z Y. Catch me in Miami for spring break.
Man. Oh yeah, we in Miami for spring. Oh yeah, oh yeah. Yeah, we yeah, definitely man. in Miami oh, yeah, for spring break. Hey, 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 but go ahead, go ahead, go ahead. Hey, we good, man. Look, Cassie Miami spring break. CIAA, I'm there. VCU homecoming, I'm there. Tell your favorite promoter to hit me up. Get that check right, I'm there. Pat is dope, he there. We there, man. Holler at me, man. Go. No.